the estimate is around 400. Between, 400. Four, between 400 and 500, I don't, don't, I don't have the exact number. That's, that's something that's being discussed. One death is a death too many, plain and simple. Um, and I think every year, uh, the health and safety standards on the sites are improving, at least on our sites, the World Cup sites, the ones that we're responsible for, most definitely to the extent that you've got trade unions, representatives of the German trade union, representatives of the Swiss trade but union, you have, you... uh, just, to, just to make yeah. this point, have commended the work that's been done on, on, the, si on the World Cup sites right, and the improvement. I think overall, the, the need for labor reform in itself dictates that yes, improvements had to happen. Mm -hmm. And, and just so we're clear, this was something that was recognized before we bid. The improvements that have happened isn't because of the World Cup. Mm. These are improvements that we knew we had to do mm. because of our own values. Improvements that had to happen, whether it's in terms of health and safety standards, whether it's in terms of improving the accommodation standards, whether it's in terms of dismantling the kafala system. Now what the World Cup did, the World Cup served as a vehicle, as an accelerant, as a catalyst. Mm. It, you know, because of the spotlight which we recognized early on was gonna be shed, it allowed, you know, it, it caused a lot of these initiatives, uh, not only in terms of improvement in the legislation, but in the enforcement of it as well. Mm -hmm. And that's where today, you know, where we led to, you know, we got to a, a position where our most ardent of critics consider us today to be a benchmark in the region.